Well, I might have just turned my crankcases into scrap metal. Bugger. Hmm. Right, so anyway, yeah, nothing happened last week, just waiting for bits. Um, things have started arriving. So, I thought I'd start getting things done. So I got this screwed up as best I could. Thought we'll boil this out first. The only boring bar I've got that's long enough is this one. You can put little sort of quarter inch tool steel inserts in. So ground, well, it's one of the things we're waiting for. Uh, it turns out I'd run out of quarter inch tool steel. So, got some quarter inch tool steel, ground some up. I've currently lost it actually. Um, but anyway, um, popped it in there, set everything up. Thought we'd um, plough through, everything going great guns. And as we got to the back, the tool bit caught it. There's loads of chatter in this just because of how long it is. So I'm having to, I was going relatively slowly and I intended to do a spring pass anyway. So by the when I got to the bottom, didn't bother backing it off. I just thought we'd run it out and do a spring pass and then back it off. And got halfway through running it out and realized everything had moved. Um, this is just some hokey Indian thing. But anyway, um, cause I've got this on full extension so it doesn't clamp as well as it should. And yeah, it had grabbed hold of this, pivoted it and pulled the cutting bit. So, um, I now have a really, well, a hole that's much bigger than I intended and with an awful surface finish. And I can't find my tool bit because it was in there okay, but um, I've just taken it out to sharpen it back up. Um, and as you can imagine, it's not the largest thing in the world. So we had it on there, going away nicely, just about finished, and it went dink and vanished. So, so far, things aren't going well. Right, let's ignore that for a moment because I might just have to, um, well, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, who knows? We'll save it, I'm sure, one way or another. All right, let's move some things. So we have this side of the crank ground. That went absolutely lovely. Um, I did like most people um, suggested in the comments and I did take the bulk of it off with something a bit um, more aggressive and then smoothed everything out and yeah that over that length from the um, cheek of the crank there to about there yeah about there it's within three microns which is as accurately as I can measure with my stuff so I thought well there's no point in trying to go any further and we've got a cylinder head back huzzah still needs a lot of work doing to it um, the valves are currently in with these little lightweight springs some of these just so that I can measure the heights um, I've got it written down somewhere the height the springs are meant to be or the valves are meant to be can't find where I've written it down but that's yeah I'll figure it out that's not a bother and we have odd valve seats here the chap who was doing them did this one first just put a standard valve seat in everything went grand this side, you have to dig the hole somewhat bigger than he anticipated, and you can't buy blank valve seats in the dimensions we need. But he had a lump of beryllium bronze kicking about, so um, yeah, the exhaust valve seat is a beryllium one. So that was nice and expensive. Um, I should have really done them both in beryllium, but you know. Yes, expense. It's, yeah, it's not cheap stuff at the minute, beryllium. So yes, that bit's going okay. That bit's going okay. I can't do the other side of the crank because the stuff I was using to rough it down with I've run out of. And um, that bit over there has just gone horrendously bad. Right, I'll see if I can rectify it. I don't know whether I'll do it tonight, tomorrow, whenever, but um, I'll bring you back when it's rectified. Right, onward. Okay, well, I think we've managed to rectify the job. That's the um, little setup. Like I said, it's really, really flimsy. Um, this block here that this tube's meant to sit in, it's only about halfway down it, so I've got clearance for the uh, depth of the casing. Oh, don't lean on the wheels. But yeah, anyway, managed to square it up. 
I had to take a bit more meat off than intended. Um, I was hoping to just take uh, make the hole sort of, I don't know, about a millimetre bigger, just enough to clean it up so it was even all the way down. Um, what did we go to? Uh, we're two mil bigger by the time it cleaned up. Uh, so, you know, not the end of the world. I've just got to hope when it all, um, yeah, when I cocked the job up there and crashed it a little bit, that it didn't move the crankcases. And um, if the crankcase is moved, well, there's, there's no way of telling. There's nothing to centre them off once that hole's been hacked out. Um, so, yeah, if the crankcase is moved at all, then um, that could have knackered everything. But, you know, I, I think it's okay. Everything's bolted down nice and hard. Um, honestly, it wasn't really... It, wasn't really a crash it was just this this edge it just caught i hadn't noticed but in the in the back here there, there was a little nick it caught the nick pulled that down and outwards twisted the bar as well in its little holder you know the bar itself straight but yeah twist it in its holder and just rammed the cutting tip into the side here um yeah i said hopefully we've got away with that and um, lesson learned, cheap shit boring bars are not paying enough attention to what they're doing. Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I really should have noticed that before I did it. Not to worry. These things happen, don't they, unfortunately, when you... No, they shouldn't do, but... Yeah. And luckily it was on mine, so, yeah. Doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, right. What's next? Cup of tea, because that thing's empty. Right, I'll make a cup of tea and I'll figure out what we're doing next. Onward. Okay, so I've done another clean up pass on this and just deburred it. Um, still not happy with it. I've had a bore gauge down there and it's half a thou taper on it and half a thou around as well. Hmm. I might just leave it till the morning and remeasure it when I'm not quite so annoyed with it and it's definitely definitely cooled all the way down then so yeah we'll worry about it then so I have been messing about with the cylinder head and trying not to kill the new valve seats I very nearly did I, yeah I put a tiny mark on one of them but it cleaned up with a tiny bit of fine grinding paste and um, so we got away with that luckily and um, things aren't going too well today are they? so so far I've just been trying to blend the seats into the ports, get rid of these ridges, and just round the corners on the edge of the 40, 45s there, because there, there isn't enough meat to put three angle valve seats in these. Um, well, you could do, you know, you could make everything way too big. Um, but the throat size on these is already far past optimal, um, as far as I'm concerned. Um, so yeah, the, the throat, I, it's just, it's about the same on both in and exhaust on this thing. Um, I wouldn't want it, I'd have thought on this thing any more than say 88% of the valve diameter. It's nearly 92. Now I thought, well I don't, I thought I just cleaned it up, I don't think I took actually any meat off it before I started anyway. So I've got the uh, head that we've recently killed and I've just measured this one and we've done absolutely nothing to this head except for kill it. Um, and as you can see she's still all full of carbon and muck and nastiness. That's at 93% so that's actually worse. So anyway, yes, so as I've been cleaning these up um, it's somewhere near. I've just got to finish taking these ridges off around here. I'm, I'm not too worried about compression right this second because there's a couple of other bits I'm going to alter. Um, so yeah, when, I, when I've finished cleaning this up, I'll lock the valves back in. I, I have been doing it periodically. Um, if at any point I think I've touched the valve seat with, um, I don't know, either a flapper wheel or a bit of emery or one of my emery scrolls or, you know, anything. If I think I've touched it, even if you can't see it, I've um, just been sticking either... Well, if it's clear I've touched it, I've been putting a bit of grinding paste on. If I'm not sure, I've just been sticking a bit of blue on there. And yeah, 
we've been all right so far. I mean, it's not end of the world if I do. I can always just rip it back to your man that put them in and just get him to recut them. I think there's enough meat there. And uh, yeah, to round them off, just flap a wheel, lots of cuts in it with a pair of scissors. And if you're quick, and you know what you're doing, or well, you have a good guess at what you're doing, you can just very quickly whip in and out once, two or three times, or however many times it needs, depending on the cylinder head. And it just round, ever so slightly rounds both the top and bottom edge of the, bottom edge of the seats. Flipping it. I'll try saying that again. I'm, all my words are gone. Right, yes. Yeah, if you do it carefully, you can just round off the um, top and bottom edges um, of the seat so it's not an angle and it barely touches the seat at all. A quick little lick with the grinding paste and it clears it up. I mean, if you pull it at a jaunty angle or stay there too long, it'll kill everything, but no, no, it's just enough. And like I said, it's yeah, just taking the edges off on both of them. Um, and yeah, yeah, just cleaning up. I have realised I'm waffling and I'm tired, so uh, right, I'm going to go inside and I'll come back to this tomorrow maybe, or the next day or whenever I get out of here next. Okay, onward. Okay, so I have sharpened the living daylights out of that tool, altered the profile of it slightly, and just done a really light skin pass, and I've been measuring and measuring and measuring with the bore gauge. You can probably see the marks that the ball gauge is leaving in the uh, finish there. That's all the way around because I've been measuring absolutely everywhere. And it's round. Which is good. Still a little bit of taper on it though. Um, but maybe half a thou taper. So presumably the lathe's settled or... No, I don't know. I'll stick a bar in it at some point and check it to uh, see if, what it's run out like. But I think we'll get away with half a thou. Especially since it's now round, which is nice. So, I can put... Uh, I can take that out of the lathe now, put some of that measuring equipment away. I need to put quite a few things away. We're running out of room. Um, I seem to have acquired a list of engineing boxes that I don't particularly want, and I just keep tripping over it as there's nowhere for it to go. So, uh, if anyone wants a list of D, yeah, that'll be going very shortly. Um, right, what's next? Make some room, carry on with this cylinder head. Right, onward. Right, yeah, well that's the seats just about blended in. Um, not perfect, but I don't want to take any more meat off than I have. Because um, you don't have a lot to play with on these. Um, I said earlier, the ports are already way too big as it is. Uh, well, the throats are anyway. Um, so yeah, I I've just rounded the edges, both the top and bottom edges of the seats and just smoothed out where they go into the cylinder head and where they blend into the ports. Nice and mucky job, hence the hoverable green gloves. Um, you didn't really use much in the way of power tools so um, haven't made a mountain of mess everywhere and needed the deep face masks and all that lot. Um, just about done it all by hand. A couple of little bits I just Got with a little whizzy wheel, but uh, yeah. Anyway, right. That's that bit done. Need to figure out what we're doing next. Onward. Okay, so we've got the crankcases out of the lathe. Just giving them a quick clean. Probably still see the water vapour coming off them. Just rinsed them off with some hot water after cleaning them. So they need to dry, but I think I am going to call it for this video because this place is an absolute dump and I can barely move. The whole point of building this place was so I had room to work, and now I don't have room to work. So, um, yeah. A lot of tidying to do, and there's going to be some stuff thrown in the bin. Because I cannot work like this. Anyway, right. So, those of you that are still here, thank you very much for watching, and um, hopefully see you in the next one. Ta-da!